Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Filmora Video Editor. It is a user-friendly, easy-to-use video editing software. Its powerful editing function make it easy for you to edit your videos. Filmora Video Editor is the best choice for the beginner for simple video editing needs. It provides lots of special effects with the regular library updates. This video editor is easy for anyone to learn with tons of effects and filters. Create your own text animation, and use it as the video intro. Choose from tons of transitions, filters, overlays, elements, and more. Export your video in tons of video format. Or even direct upload video, on your YouTube channel. Visit the link in the description, and download the film Aura today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it 3D Face Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. At 30 frames per second. And my duration is 10 seconds. The first step is, to import a face image into the project. You can choose any one you like, but of course, make sure the face is visible properly, and the image is in the high quality. Import your image into the project, then drag and drop it onto the composition icon. Now the After Effects will automatically create the same comp size as this image. So what exactly we are going to do? We are going to create a depth map for this image. In which, the part we want to bring closer to the camera, will be white. And for the distanced object, we will use the black color. In between, all other shapes or objects can be gray, or light gray. That means, her face is going to be in bright gray color, and the background should be black. So, let's start creating this. Select your image layer, and press T, to open opacity. Now change the opacity value to 50%. And then click here to lock this layer. All other layers are going to be placed below this layer. Now go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, your fill should be set on the solid layer, and stroke should be on the none. Cool. Now click on the shape fill color, and change the color to black. And then start creating a rectangle around our composition frame. Please note, this rectangle shape should be bigger than our image, so that, it will cover the entire image properly. Cool. Let's rename this layer as the background. And then place it below the image layer. Now we are going to create a shape for the body. Let's change its color to the gray color, so it will create some depth into our scene. Now start creating a mask around the body. For making a curved path, simply click and hold the mouse button, and it will turn into the round path, or curve. The shape is also going to follow the handles of this path, and it can change the shape we want to create. So press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and then, change the handles to the direction, where you want to create the path. This path doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it closer to the shape. Cover the entire image using this path only, and then make sure to click on the first anchor point, to complete the shape. Let's call this body, and then place it above the background layer. Let's create another shape for the face only. I am using a brighter shade, than a body shape color. So that, it will pop out in the depth. 
cover the part only, which is going to be at the same depth position, as the face. And make sure to connect the path anchor point. Place it below the image layer, and rename it as the face. Make sure your background shape layer is placed below of all layers. Hide the top layer, and it should look like this. It's time for the eyes. As you may know, eyes are little deeper, than the face position, so use the darker color for eyes. Don't make it too dark, just a minimum amount. Cool. Now cover the both eyes using the same shape color. Remember, this shape doesn't have to be perfect. You can even use the linear paths, instead the curved path. Now rename this layer eyes. And place it above the face layer. You can hide the top layer to see if you are doing it right. It's time for the nose. Use a brighter color for the nose, because it is going to be in front of all layers. For saving time, I am using the same color for the forehead, nose, as well as the chin. You can spend more time on each part, if you want. Let's call it nose, and place it below the image layer as well. Now I am going to cover the hair part, I am using a darker color for the hair, because it shouldn't be farther away from the forehead. I am covering this part only, to create some depth into the scene. Place it above the nose layer, and let's call it hair. Hide the top layer and see if everything seems to be okay. Now, it's time for the neck part. Use a dark color for the neck, because it is looking further away from the face. You can observe by yourself, which part is going to be further, and closer in the scene. By the way, you can always adjust the shape you have created, by selecting the anchor points. Place it below the image layer, and call it neck. Let's hide this layer, and see if the depth map looks okay. My neck color is brighter, so I am choosing a dark color for this. Also, nose layer color shouldn't be that much bright. So make it a little darker. Cool. This looks scary to me. Now create a new adjustment layer, make sure to place it above all layers. And rename it as map. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fast blur. Apply it onto the layer, and then click on the repeat edge pixels check mark. Increase the blurriness amount to 100. And then switch back to the main comp. Go to the projects, and then, Place the image layer into the timeline. Press S, to open scale. And adjust the size if you need to. Now select this image comp we just created. And add it to the timeline as well. Let's hide it, because we don't need to see it. Select the top layer, and then go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the displacement map. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change displacement map layer to the bottom layer. After that, change the use for horizontal displacement to luminance. Change the vertical displacement as luminance as well. Now the magic begins. Change the displacement values to see the depth we just created. But don't make it too much, or the image will start looking distorted. It's time to animate it. Go to the first frame, and then add a keyframe in horizontal, and vertical displacement. For the first frame, I am using a negative value for both. And then, go to around 5 seconds forward. And here change the displacement value to a positive number. Make sure your image should not start distorting. 
check the animation, and see if you like it. Well, this looks good to me. As you can see here. My image having some size problem here. You can fix it by scaling up the image. Scale it, and align it, so the black distortion won't visible. Also, you can add a scale animation, to add more depth into the scene. I am using a scale in animation for it. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Now the final step. Press U, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.